I sort of proposed to make a video game about the future of work in Pendle. Um, and what I'd like to do today, if you're up for it, is to start the process. So you kind of help design some of the characters and kind of some of the content that's going to be part of this video game. People now are talking about what we're about to experience is the fourth or the fifth industrial revolution. So how will that play out in a place like Pendle when people have already kind of ridden out lots of changes in the way we work? I'm just wondering what kind of work there will be. That's it, isn't it? You could be like, yeah. But I think everything's going to be digital. So I'm just putting digi, digi agent. I want to design a video game or make a video game. All of the characters, all of the levels, all of the content is going to be designed by people in Pendle now. And what we do is imagine ourselves in Pendle in 2050 and that we've all kind of got our dream jobs or our dream work and we work backwards from that. My kind of elevator pitch for the game is that it's a bit like the Terminator or uh, Back to the Future but with careers advisors instead of killer robots. How did we get there and what were the kind of steps and what were the challenges and the barriers and what have been the big changes globally and locally that have kind of allowed us to achieve our sort of dream jobs or change the way that we work all together. You've got some people that are going to be sort of entrepreneurs and say self-made millionaires, other people that have really thought about the digital kind of side and what robotics is going to change and how technology is going to change. There's 108 taxi drivers. Off the grid. Don't, don't forget the off the grid. An off the grid taxi driver. So can you take me off the grid as well? What, what do you do for a living? I am uh, Axi Lotto. I, uh, I work in the digisphere as a cookie sweeper. Somewhere like Pendle might offer a very different type of work that isn't centralised to a factory or a particular place. People could live in Pendle and work anywhere. It's going to be something that people can continue to play to have these kind of slightly more complicated conversations about the future of work in Pendle. So it's got a lens here and it's got a lens there and then that just captures the entire room. I started using VR almost by accident. Really, I use it because it does help people kind of project themselves into a different space and it can be quite immersive, but a lot of virtual reality gets used as escapism, whereas I'm kind of interested in how you use that to kind of rethink what's around you and rethink the reality that you're in.